once again we are back on Egmont Sojki Tea Talk Train of Thought with a series of an episode with an Iron Lady of India, Geeta Padwal. It's an interesting story, interesting uh, insight exclusively on Tea Talk. That's what Tea Talk is all about. Carrying a story and the journey of an expert from the industries uh, so that you draw in many, uh, meaningful learning. Now here we have seen her role. Uh, she struggled for her studies at the initial stage. Uh, maybe as far as she used to maintain her education by taking the tuitions and all and got into the public sector uh, job for 22 years, took a voluntary retirement as an anchor. She got into uh, the TV series also. Now another twist in her life as an actress. Man, uh, in government uh, you used to lead uh, the team and was in authority while in acting. Now at the mercy of a director. How you got that first break of being part of an acting? Kabhi apne socha tha? Never. Never. In fact, this is a kundli hoti hai, hmm. uh, horoscope. Uh, my uh, parents used to say that, uh, uh, but this is they told me later on, not uh, before, that uh, it was it it was mentioned that she will come on the big screen, but mm-hmm. it was never in my mind. Honestly yeah. speaking, never in my mind. Icha sabko hoti hai. Okay, if he's, if someone says nahi hai, to it is not true. Yeah, Everyone yeah. wants to uh, some at some yeah, point no, of time be in the limelight. And because I was also uh, into creative form of arts, mm-hmm. because I was dancing, I was singing, I was doing so many different things. I was also in uh, Bhavai form of art on television. So mm-hmm. um, expression, uh, creative expression was always there inside me. Correct. Now, um, while I was still in uh, government service, mm-hmm. um, at that time what happened is that I was host, as, as I said, I was hosting shows also. Mm-hmm. Um, there was this uh, young guy who approached me saying that he wanted me to uh, anchor the opening of uh, art exhibi- exhibition of his father, mm-hmm. father's paintings. Mm-hmm. His, uh, I, I said that okay, okay, I'm ready to host it mm-hmm. and this is my fees. Mm-hmm. Now he said that, uh, ma'am, um, can you reduce it because I cannot pay that mm-hmm. much. So I asked, that, whose exhibition is this? Mm-hmm. So he said that my father, who is ages uh, 75 years mm-hmm. and uh, he has created a lot of paintings mm-hmm. and I as a son wanted to showcase mm-hmm. that in Jahangir Art Gallery mm-hmm. in Mumbai. Mm-hmm. When I heard it is of a senior citizen, mm-hmm. I immediately said that I'll do it for free. Mm-hmm. So I hosted that uh, and it turned out to be a stupendous success. Nice. Now the father whose paintings was being exhibited, mm-hmm. he was very happy. He came up to me and he and his wife were very emotional. Mm-hmm. That is just because of you that ye aaj ka, this opening of this uh, exhibition became so successful mm-hmm. etc. I said no, I mean like I'm very happy that at this age mm-hmm. also you are being so creative. Correct. And yeah. with all my heart I appreciated him for his creativity mm-hmm. at that age when people normally Correct. are not doing anything Correct. you know. So so, um, but after a month, I got a call from a producer in Kerala saying mm-hmm. that uh, you have been recommended by XYZ oh. and uh, you need to come for an audition for a film. Uh, mm-hmm. we, are, we, we are looking for a lead person in the film and mm-hmm. we want you to come there. Right. I was stumped, I was shocked. Mm-hmm. But the same spirit that say yes, then what will mm-hmm. mm-hmm. happen, it said yes. Mm-hmm. How later on I came to know that this person who referred me, mm-hmm. uh, he was a senior theatre artist mm-hmm. in Mumbai and he had lot of connections with film industry in Kerala. So some producer approached him saying that they were looking for someone for a Malayalam movie mm-hmm. in the lead role, a new person mm-hmm. and this man without asking me sent my photographs from Facebook, from Facebook to, to, to him. So right. they liked the photographs and they right. said that okay, ask her to come. Mm-hmm. So I was stumped, I was actually shocked that mm-hmm. uh, something like this will come out really? of nowhere in the blue. Mm-hmm. Now another coincidence I will tell you, mm-hmm. this shooting was happening in my mother's uh, native place. I mean the village, it's a very small village mm-hmm. uh, called Kaidapram in mm-hmm. Kerala, mm-hmm. Karnur district. Mm-hmm. The shooting interestingly was happening only a couple of kilometers away from her house. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. so that was again nostalgia that it was right. happening in my mother's native place. Right, right. So that turned So this is how I got my first film uh, break I and I went there, it was no audition. It I was straight away shoot and yeah. uh, 
at an age when people can't dream of getting a, a lead role. A lead role. I was 38 years old at that time. At the age of 38 years, I acted in a lead role in a Malayalam. What is the Malayalam movie? Uh, Its name was Kandetal. Kandetal means revelation, discovery. Huh? I see. In I fact, I discovered myself. You discovered yourself in that person's <laughs> yes, life. Yes. I will mean, just a snapshot of our uh, first movie, like for our target audience. Ma'am, it's a very interesting trailer to what we have seen of our uh, of your first uh, movie, like and how you got a break. Sometimes it's in destiny, like you know, you do something good for somebody, and it God knows, up. like who comes and repays uh, that, and. Uh, also like uh, while doing that particular role in your first movie what was your overall experience facing in camera action and as far as uh, while being in the corporate world you were the boss and here you are at the mercy of a director yeah. so what was your feeling like while playing that role okay now the first film that i acted in was uh, the role of a mother of a child who is lost mm-hmm. It was a very intense role, a very emotional role. Uh, I had to cry throughout the film. Mm-hmm. I mean, it hardly in couple of scenes I have not cried, but mm-hmm. entire film I'm crying. Mm-hmm. There are so many situations in my own personal life um, which I, I I did not want to use glycerin while crying. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did not have to use most of, out of the uh, entire film scenes where I needed to cry. I must have used glycerin in maybe 10%. In mm-hmm. other 90%, it was genuine tears and I was crying really. And how I managed to do that was that I used to remember certain instances of my own life, mm-hmm. uh, my own child. I had I have a son and how I myself was separated from my child for a for a brief period and mm-hmm. what is the pain I went through. So mm-hmm. each uh, each time I used to remember that the tears used to flow from my eyes, mm-hmm. and I, uh, I I it it the, when I when I still, even today when I see that film, mm-hmm. uh, I know where I cried really and where uh, glycerin was used. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. Uh, it was an intense experience. It mm-hmm. was a life changing experience for me. Mm-hmm. It was uh, something which was which I can't describe in words. Uh, I mm-hmm. still get emotional when I uh, think about that film, mm-hmm. uh, the story of what mother goes through when her child is uh, lost mm-hmm. and, uh, and, and, and then how she goes on to accept every single child uh, in the world as her own, as child. own child and embracing it. Mm-hmm. It is very difficult for a mother mm-hmm. to do that and she just prays that jahan bhi mera beta hai, wo achha rahe. Mm-hmm. and she embraces every single lost child mm-hmm. and takes care of that child till the child finds its own parents. The entire shooting took uh, uh, how many months to... It was not, it was, uh, can you believe it that the entire film was shot in 4 days. Okay, I see. So, the, the, yeah, the first film was in for, for second film took one month. Okay. It was outside India. I see. Uh, so uh, now answering your next question, that how it felt uh, from government department mm-hmm. to uh, working under a director, it was a very uh, very uh, uh, uneasy transi- transition mm-hmm. because when I was in the government department, I was heading a team. Mm-hmm. I was the boss. Mm-hmm. So when you are a boss, you are directing. Mm-hmm. You are telling them to do this, do this, do this. Do this. Okay. All of a sudden, when, after I took voluntary retirement, entered film industry, here is another person who is telling me you do this, what you do this. this. It's okay. very difficult. It's okay. very when you have all the long led. Mm-hmm. Now being led mm-hmm. was something which was very difficult. But then what you do is that you have faith in your director. Mm-hmm. You you surrender to your director's mm-hmm. method, okay. and then you give your best. Okay. And uh, and then rest is destiny. Right. So that's how it took okay. it. Uh, then I think I'll just show a trailer of your second movie, like you know, for a target audience. Like, how you got this movie? Okay. So while I was shooting for the first film, uh, the sec- the director of the second film also belonged to that same place and he came to know that XYZ girl is acting in this film and she's a new girl. Mm-hmm. So he sent, a, he tried to call me mm-hmm. uh, call, but he couldn't reach me so he called the producer of that film mm-hmm. and the producer was in the sets. Mm-hmm. So he told, uh, he sent a check saying that uh, XYZ is uh, uh, has asked you to call him and mm-hmm. this is the number. Mm-hmm. I knew nothing thing about South Indian industry, film mm-hmm. industry, nothing. Yeah. I used to know everything about Bollywood, yeah. Amitabh Bachchan, Rekha, uh, Dharmendra, etc, etc. But mm-hmm. I knew nothing about Malayalam film mm-hmm. industry mm-hmm. and here I was part of that industry. Mm-hmm. So I did not know who this person is. Mm-hmm. So I just kept the chit side me, but my co-star said that what happened Geeta? I said that this person has asked me to call him. Mm-hmm. So he said, Kaun hai? So mm-hmm. I showed him. 
say, yeah, are you crazy? Call him now. I said, who is this? So he is a state award winning director. If he has asked to call you, call him immediately. Yes. His name was Madhu Kaidapram. Unfortunately, he is no more now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I said, okay, I'll call tomorrow. No, Kita, call now. There must be something, good, some good news for you. Yeah, okay. He forced me to call uh, call mm-hmm. him right away mm-hmm. and when I called he said that Geeta we have a movie that is going to be shot in Muscat mm-hmm. and there is this character of a documentary filmmaker mm-hmm. and uh, she is the ex-wife of the uh, lead guy mm-hmm. and uh, we want you to be a part of that film oh, yes. it just came you got it. it just oh, came okay. I got it and then that's how I got the second so one. now as an anchor TV serial you acted in couple of and movies and now again you have shift the gear from here to a real larger purpose of your life, a full search ki, where we talk in terms of transforming the society. Yes. Uh, you have started with the initiative of uh, Dhrivya Shakti, like. So I think it's an interesting uh, insight and the story exclusively on T Talk, a full search ki of an Iron Lady of an India Gita Podva, that how uh, from being part of an uh, PSU sector for 22 years and being as an ang- uh, anchor then being part of and as far as uh, the uh, uh, act- acting which is concerned and now uh, getting into a social cause as far as this NGO which is concerned stay tuned to uh, T-Talk uh, just go to www.ttalk.net subscribe and like the channel as much as you can thank you very much thanks ma'am for being part of this thank you.